Hello, everybody, and welcome to this edition of the In the Ring Show with your host, Devious Damien. And this is going to be my review of tonight's Monday Night Raw. We kicked it off with the WWE Championship Mark Henry versus CM Punk. No DQ, no count out. Some of you might say, Damien, why do you sound like you're so upset? You know, you sound like you just are sick of this match. Well, because there is three weeks in a freaking row we've got on free TV when it could have been on pay-per-view down the road. Yeah, I'm sick of it for that reason. I'm sick of it for the reason that it's got the most important championship of the company opening the fucking show. All in fit. Just so you could have Super Cena main event the fucking show. Get the fuck out of my face. Fucking Breakfast Club asshole. So, then you had Santino and David Otunga for the U.S. title. Santino wins. Glad to see the masterpiece, or the master douche, David Otunga didn't get the U.S. title. I don't like that guy. Never have, never will. Kane versus Zack Ryder ends in a no contest. And just to get it out of the way, we had a bunch of stupid segments tonight with R-Truth pretending to be Sherlock Holmes. Stupid, nothing was funny about it. Didn't go anywhere. It was bullshit all night. Then we had a stupid little segment between Kofi Kingston and Daniel Bryan where Daniel Bryan said yes about 50 times to set up a match between Kofi and Daniel Bryan, which Daniel Bryan won, by the way. No surprise. John Cena promo talking about his little thing with Brock Lesnar at Extreme Rules, how he's scared but he's going to fight anyway, and blah, blah, blah. And speaking of Extreme Rules, after the Punk and Mark Henry match in it's going to be Punk and Jericho at Extreme Rules, the Chicago Street Fight. Not that I really give a shit, but it's going to happen anyway. So then we have Brodus Clay defeating Dolph Ziggler by DQ. Another shitty fucking match that ended... Be with yeah, with others getting involved, Jack Swagger gets involved, and Brodus Clay destroys them both. Yippee Kai, fucking yay. I couldn't have really given a shit less. Big Show and Great Kali defeat Epico and Primo. And another uneventful, unexciting match. Raw was full of that tonight. Uneventful, not exciting. Daniel Bryan and Kofi Kingston should have been a good match. I wasn't impressed by it at all. Then, of course, John, early in the night during John Cena's promo, Boronitis books Cena... In an extreme rules match with a mystery opponent. And of course, the mystery opponent ends up being Lord Tensai. Tensai wins because once again, he has an identity crisis. He thinks he's the great Muda. Spitting the green mist. Spits it in Cena's face. Does the Baldo bomb. One, two, three. Match over. So yeah, in just a little over three minutes, I describe what happened on Monday Night Raw tonight. Pretty sad when I can describe what happened on Raw in three minutes and not even get excited about it. Do you know why I didn't get excited about it, people? There was nothing to get excited about. Nothing. This show was a failure. This show proved nothing, did nothing. It was stupid. The best part of the whole night was the beginning. Yeah, the best mar the best match of the night was CM Punk and Mark Henry, which opened the fucking show, which pisses me off. Lord Tensai and Cena should have opened the fucking show, but God forbid you don't put Cena in the fucking main event. God forbid you have him open the show once in a while. First two matches were title matches. I'm sorry. You could have done Lord Tensai and Cena first. Because honestly, that match was so shitty, that deserved to be the curtain fucking jerker of the night. Yeah, but another shitty match was uh, Big Show and Kali against Epico and Primo. Well, yeah, I said that too. I thought that was shitty too. No, actually, except for CM Punk and Mark Henry, nothing tonight was good. I'm just nothing. Saying, that should have been like the starting match. But Lord Tensai and John Cena certainly didn't deserve to be the main event. Not at all. So, you know, after this, last night I did a video, which I did a little editing to. I, I had my girlfriend help me. Which, if some of you wonder, Devastating Deb, who sometimes appears with me on cam, that's my girlfriend, for those who didn't know. So. 
what I'm going to do is post up the video 16 changes I would make to the WWE. And of course, you know what? I could erase that video and I could do like a four part series. Because I get Monday Night Raw, just give me like 15 more things I'd change. I could do like 40 things I'd change about the WWE. But I think I might just narrow it down to the top 16 and post that. Also, there's a video series I am going to post eventually when I get around to it. My, top, my list of the top 50 superstars of all time. So be looking for that also. But tonight's Raw, epic fail, F. You know, I know the guys at the British Fist are going to say, there you go again, bringing the hammer down on shows, and you, you know, you got to learn to narrow your expectations. And to a point, maybe that's true. But am I supposed to narrow my expectations to a point where I actually enjoyed this shit? Should I narrow my expectations and think that they'll ever have a good opinion? You know, I'm too... And nothing against British people. I got family. You know, and it's, it's to a point. And, I, you know, I'm not dissing the British Fist as people. I'm not saying they're bad YouTube wrestling vloggers. I just disagree with the fact that I should have to taper my expectation, expectations enough to enjoy that shit tonight. That was bullshit. There was nothing to enjoy about that. Nothing. Honestly, I'm to a point where I don't even want to watch the WWE product anymore. Hell, I've already decided I'm not going to order Extreme Rules. We spent half the show talking about why we don't want to watch it anymore. Yeah, we spent more time... We spent half the show talking about why we don't want to watch it. I bitched about not wanting to see Extreme Rules. Why? Because so far, two out of the three matches announced is WrestleMania all over again. You know, I remember a few years ago, WWE did this. In fact, if memory serves me correctly, it was when CM Punk and Jeff Hardy were feuding. And it was two months in a row. For all intents and purposes, two months straight, you got the same fucking pay-per-view. The only difference being, there was different stipulations on the matches. But all the same guys are facing the same guys, and everything. No change whatsoever. And it appears that for the most part, that's where they're going with Extreme Rules. Nothing's going to change, it's just going to be... For the most part, WrestleMania all over again. So, yeah, there that's my take on that. Raw sucked. Extreme Rules look like it's going to suck. I'm not going to spend $50 just to watch Cena and Brock. Not worth it. So what did you think of Raw? Do you Did you like it? If you did, you needed your fucking head examined. I'm sorry. If you like Monday Night Raw tonight, you're a fucking fool. And if you actually think Extreme Rules is going to turn out to be a decent pay-per-view, you're an even bigger fucking moron. But anyway, that's my opinion on tonight's Raw. It sucked. It failed. It was dumb. Not even worth the two hours I spent watching. Well, okay, not quite two hours because I DVR'd it and fast-forwarded through it. But the hour and a half, hour and 15 to two hours, that's... A, that's a, an hour and 15, hour and a half of my life, I'll never get back on that shit. And just on a side note, I'm a huge fan for Extreme Rules, and I don't even care about ordering it. That should tell you something. Truth be told, shh, don't tell anybody this. But you know, I am going to watch Extreme Rules, but I'm not going to pay 50 bucks. And they probably couldn't pick up on the microphone, what you just said. But that's okay. But... Learn how to read lips. <laughs> but then again, you, but then again, I never once said that how why I wasn't going to pay for it. So I'll leave that up to your imagination. So anyway, for this edition of the In the Ring Show, this is Devious Damien signing out.